guys, this episode we're gonna be exploring how to keep track of the online users on your Rails app. Now we're gonna be doing a two part series on this where the first episode, we're gonna do a very rudimentary simple version of it where we're gonna keep track of everything using a before action and a model um, column in the database. So it'll be very straightforward. And then the second version, which we'll talk about in part two, is going to be actually using Action Cable to keep track in real time of which users are active on your site. So those will happen instantaneously and will work more similar to the way that Slack works when you're seeing users come online and go offline. So let's dive into the first version with our database model. So we're using the jumpstart template here. We have a user model that we can log into using devise. That's going to be the foundation for this. And what we'll need to do is generate a migration called add last scene at to users. And we'll have a last scene at column, which will be a date time timestamp. So we'll generate this migration and run rails db migrate to create that. And then once this is done, we can go ahead and open up our editor. Now our model can have a scope here that will say online, and this will return all of the users where last seen at is greater than a certain timestamp. And the easiest way to do this is to say something like 15.minutes.ago, and you can make this however uh, accurate as you want. So if you want to say one minute ago, you could five minutes ago, 10 minutes, you can change this number to whatever is most practical for your use case. So this will give you a idea of users who are online within the last 15 minutes. And then for us to actually set this when you're navigating around the application, we want to have a before action here, say set last seen at if the user is signed in. So we'll call that device helper to make sure that the user is signed in and we will have a method called set last scene at and we'll say current user dot touch and the last scene at timestamp. So that will go ahead and update our database record so that it will continuously update this accordingly. So then we can go to our index action um, and display on the home page somewhere users online and we'll say let's go through user dot online dot each do user and then we'll have an li tag here user dot name and close our li and once we have all this up here we should be good to go so we can go into our browser and once we run our Rails server, we'll be able to log in as a user and see the users that are currently online. And we are currently logged in as Exit3 in this browser, and we're not logged in on this one. And so if we were to log in as Chris at GoRails.com, this will be a separate user account, and now I will be marked as online. So if this user refreshes, then we're both online and they can see that. It's not going to update in real time or anything, but it is gonna keep track of that so we can easily query the database when we want to render this out. So then we can also go and test this out and say, um, if we were to go and update the last user and update them to uh, last seen at 20 minutes ago, this is going to put them outside of that timestamp window. And if we refresh on the other user, we'll see that exit three goes offline. So that user is no longer online because their timestamp is out of that window. So if they stop making requests to our app, we stop seeing them as being marked online. So it's a very simple rudimentary example on how to keep track of whether or not you have users online it's not going to be super accurate, but it is going to keep track of the very last request that they had, which might be good enough and all you need. It's very simple and doesn't add much code to your application. The action cable version that we'll talk about in the next part of this series is going to get a little bit more in depth because we're going to have to connect to action cable. And we'll also talk about how to update those statuses and users online in real time. So we'll add JavaScript and action cable broadcast to actually say, hey, 
this user is now online, and this user is now offline. So we'll be able to sync all of that using Action Cable, which will give us a more real-time feel of active online users.